Hello, it's the weekend here in Carmel, March 21st. I want to encourage everyone to continue to stay healthy at home. We know we can beat this virus if we can just slow it down so our hospitals and medical workers aren't overwhelmed. We need to give our manufacturing of personal protection equipment manufacturers time to manufacture more equipment. We need to slow down the onslaught of patients at the East Coast and the West Coast to seeing uh, in our hospitals. But we can get through this together if we use common sense, we keep our chins up, and we're smart. I want to take this opportunity to say thank you to our first responders, our firefighters, our emergency medical workers, and our police officers, as well as the people that are keeping our water plants and other vital services working through this challenge. Our firefighters and EMS personnel and police have been trained to deal with this virus. We've had a, a pandemic plan in place for many years. We've dusted off that plan. They're in good shape and they're making sure that vital services are maintained for our community. If you need help, call them. They'll be there for you. I've been impressed with how our arts community and our business community have been finding creative and innovative ways to connect with their patrons and customers. We have up on our website at uh, www.carmel.in.gov lots of information about Carmel's response to the COVID-19 virus, but also businesses where you can get carry out food, uh, links to the Federal Small Business Administration page where people can get help. We're coordinating very carefully with the State Department of Health, the County Department of Health, and the other mayors in Hamilton County as well, I've, I've been on conference calls with mayors around the country and just yesterday spoke with the mayors of New York, Los Angeles, San Francisco, and Chicago, and cities that are several days ahead of us in handling this pandemic. And one of the things we're being advised is to do essential travel only advisories, which is why I issued uh, essential travel only advisory for the city of Carmel. We're not cracking down terribly hard on this, but. What we're trying to say to people is only go out if you have to, only go out for emergency medical issues, to the pharmacy, to go get food, to do other things that are absolutely necessary. Otherwise, stay at home, enjoy your family, bring out the board games, watch the movies on TV, catch up on the reading. I have a, a stack of books at my house I never get to, and I thought, well, here's perhaps an opportunity <laughs> to, to catch up on some of that reading. Uh, but we can beat this together if we just stay smart, stay at home, and stay healthy.